Hey, how's it going, everybody? Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com. Welcome to the update for Monday, October 5th, 2020. Free pick in Monday Night Football coming up on this report. Hey, first quick note, if you've yet to become a member at DocSports.com, just want to give it a trial run, click on that link below the video. Get yourself set up for a free $60 account, which you can, of course, use on any of my daily packages or anybody else at DocSports.com. It is as simple as that, and it all gets started by clicking on the link below the video. All right, real quick recap of the week. A nice three and one day on Sunday uh, that was led by our six star winner, our top rated play on Sunday on the New Orleans Saints. Uh, so now going into next week's card will be 59% against the spread with our last 477 NFL plays. And uh, we followed up Saturday. By the way, Saturday I went one and two in college football. Cashed easily with Alabama, uh, but my two losses included an overtime loss. And then, of course, uh, we also had a smaller play on Virginia Tech. And if you saw before game time, all the players, uh, over 20 players that were listed as out four defensive backs. Uh, that's unfortunately the way it went. They almost covered anyway, if not for a punt return for a touchdown. But one and two in college football on Saturday. Came back on Sunday, go three and one. In fact, our only loss on Sunday was the Dolphins. Uh, they certainly had their chances to cover the spread. Uh, but the six-star play on New Orleans had that big 35 straight points, unanswered points run that got them to the big 21-point lead. And then they held on to the win and the cover. And we finished up strong on Sunday night with the Eagles, who not only covered but won the game outright. Wanted to mention some stats as far as the NFL is concerned. And you know how well uh, the public has done in the NFL through the first three weeks heading into week four. And also uh, some of the numbers, you know, favorites of seven or more covering like crazy. They were at 73% going into this week. And of course, favorites were winning straight up like crazy. That part continued. Favorites winning straight up eight and four uh, on Sunday. Uh, overs, which were dominating also throughout the first three weeks. They went six, four and two to the over on Sunday. Uh, as far as favorites are se of seven or more in week four of NFL action, likely one, two and one. Uh, Tampa Bay pushed or lost. Uh, but they pushed it best or lost. Uh, Baltimore, a win or a push. Win would be best case scenario. Uh, the Rams lost and San Francisco, as I just mentioned, lost. So likely one, two, and one, depending on when you got uh, the lines, if you laid seven or more in the NFL. And of course, we got a couple of decent-sized favorites going on Monday. We're involved in one as a free pick. Going to give you that in just a moment. Also wanted to mention we cashed another six-star play on Saturday at UFC as we continue the surge in the UFC. We've had three six-star plays the last three cards. We've won them all. Uh, we'll be back this coming weekend. Of course, they're over in uh, on Fight Island Are the uh, is the UFC card on Fight Night this coming weekend. So more on that later in the week. Uh, we also cashed another winning golf, winning PGA tournament this week. We went three and one, uh, capped off by Sunday's nice win. Uh, our final round matchup, Sergio Garcia, who's laying about a buck 15, buck 20 over Cameron Davis, was a real easy winner for us. So three and one there. We're now 64% in PGA, going all the way back to August 1st when we, when we switched to complete matchups, 100% in golf, but 64% up about $3,000, just shy of $3,000 for $100 per unit better. So we'll have more golf action uh, a little bit later this week. We'll talk about that in a couple of days. But anyway, oh, NASCAR, I did lose that. Eric Armarola, we haven't had a lot of losses in NASCAR. 47 and 23 is the current run. Uh, so a healthy 67% against the spread. And uh, also 29 and 12 with our top plays. But we did have Eric Almarola in a head-to-head -head matchup on Kyle Busch. Neither driver was able to finish the race, but Almarola wiped out, crashed, was involved early, <clears throat> excuse me, earlier than Kyle. So uh, we finished up behind on that one. Later, buck 15 with Almarola. We'll look to get back on track and extend the run to 48 and 23 with this upcoming week's race in Charlotte, which takes place on Sunday. All right, let's get to it. Uh, listen, a couple of notes on the Monday Night Football games. The late game, which we're not in any kind of action whatsoever here, is Green Bay laying seven, uh, total 57. Of course, that game at Green Bay hosting the Atlanta Falcons. The public and the Sharps are both on on Green Bay over 55% on both. Uh, New England's at Kansas City. That's my free pick that I'm going to give you here. Looking at the notes, I jotted down KC for the most part laying 10 and a half. Totals 50. Of course, that uh, number went up. Kansas City being the favorite as soon as it was announced that Cam Newton tested positive for COVID. Looks like everybody else for the Pats is okay as far as COVID is concerned. Uh, Julian Edelman has been upgraded to probable. He has the, uh, the, the, the banged up knee, but it says he's going to play in all likelihood. And running back James White, obviously a 
key cog to the New England offense, no matter who's quarterbacking. Uh, James White is expected to play tonight also after his personal tragic circumstances kept him out of the last couple of games. Right now, as we speak, uh, the public, 70% of the tickets on KC, a little bit less than 60% of the overall money on the New England Patriots plus the points. So a little bit of a public versus Sharps here. Public, KC, Sharps taking the points with New England, at least as of the time we're cutting this video, which is about 11 p.m. Pacific time on Sunday night. Let's get to our free, uh, free play, excuse me. And that is in this battle between, oh, I almost forgot, Major League Baseball playoffs back underway on Monday. I do have a five star play in Major League Baseball on Monday. I'm passing one game. I'm involved in the other five-star play. We cashed a five-star play with our most recent release. Uh, that was back on Thursday with the Atlanta Braves when they wrapped up the series against the Reds. Uh, we went 0-1 day one of the playoffs. We are a perfect 3-0 ever since and up $1,300 during that 3-0 run for $100 per unit betters. Five-star play on Monday over at DocSports.com. All right, let's get to our free pick here, our opinion in tonight's Monday Night Football. We're looking at the early game. It is the clash between uh, the Patriots and the Chiefs. As I mentioned, the Chiefs about a 10.5 point favorite in most locales. We know what this ha what happens normally when these two coaches go against each other. You see a lot of high scoring games, eight of the 10 times that they've coached against each other. It's gone over, but not so sure that's going to happen here. And I really don't have an opinion on the total. Uh, what we are going to do is back the Patriots plus the double digits. Now, you know, Belichick's record, even without Brady's like 15 and seven straight up and also uh, what is this the third time as everybody knows by now that they've been getting more than uh, seven or more points uh, as an underdog they won the first two times has nothing to do with this game obviously but here's what has to do with this game Kansas City's defense 27th in rushing yards allowed per game 28th in yards allowed per carry 30th in yards allowed on the ground after contact and I really think that this is a situation where Bill Belichick can uh, run the football, tried his best to keep Casey's offense off the field, which is something John Harbaugh didn't do last week. And uh, unlike last Monday when we had a free pick on the Raven, excuse me, on the Chiefs and cashed that ticket over the Ravens, we're going to come back with an opinion on the New England Patriots plus the double digits. The Pats plus the points, our free pick, our opinion for Monday Night Football. Again, no premium Monday Night Football for me at DocSports.com, but we do have that five-star play in Major League Baseball as we look to go to 4-0 in this playoff run. It's going to do it for me. If you like the videos, click on that thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe. I do appreciate it. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com. Let's put Monday in the win column.